What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kendra. We're back with another video. What's up, y'all? We're back with another video. It is currently November the 3rd, and it's 9 o'clock. I had to come outside to let the dogs outside to use the restroom and to make sure I get them fed and stuff before I go lay back down. But before we get to this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you won't miss another video. As you read by the title, your girl is getting prepared to have surgery, and I am very, very, very scared i'm not going to lie i've never been put to sleep and i hate the fact about being put to sleep but i have to have surgery um because i have um oh gosh that light me i have gallstones in my gallbladder so i have to have surgery to have them removed it's not so bad right now at the moment but it has been giving me a little bit of problems so i do have to um they told me it's best to go ahead and get it removed now which i rather get it removed now than to wait until it stop working and i'd be really really sick so your girlfriend go ahead and get that out the way so i have to have surgery like i said it's the third i have to have surgery on the eighth and my my nerves is like oof because i'm really scared y'all have never been put to sleep that's why i didn't get my tubes tied yet because i was scared about being put to sleep but i know i'm gonna have to do it because I don't want to deal with what a lot of people deal with once they gallbladder actually stopped on them. Hello, good morning. The ones they have actually stopped on them, so I'd rather get it on out the way now. And like I said, it just got me nervous because like I said, I've never been put to sleep. So just the thought about having to be put to sleep is just one of my biggest fears. And I'm gonna have to overcome it because like I said, I don't want to deal with it. I gotta turn this water on. I really, 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 truly don't want to deal with it. But hey, it's life. We have to go through certain things. We have to go through certain things in life, whether we want to or not. And like I said, I'd rather get it now before it gets too bad. Y'all know I'm out here in Texas, so good to have me come out here and Spray water and water the grass and stuff like that because it don't be giving enough um, water to it because it don't rain enough. But it has gotten a little cold these last few days and I don't like that at all. I really don't. I don't like the, the coldness. I'll take the rain over the coldness anyway. The times we have gotten rain. Tomorrow, the 4th, will make three months we've been in Houston, and since we've been here, we have not got we have not gotten that much rain, and every time it do rain, it rain for a minute, and then it stops, literally, we have not gotten any bad rain now, right before it, when it first turned fall, I say, when it first turned fall, um, we had got some rain, for like two or three days it wasn't bad but it was just the fact that you couldn't go outside because it was drizzling a lot so you had to you know stay in the house or whatever and so um it brought a cold front out this world like cold it was cold to the point where you was not gonna want to be outside at all then i had to rinse out this cage because i have a little puppy and she acts like she just don't like to do the right thing. I take her outside. She plays. She probably pee. But then she's not going to poop in it. And she choose to poop in a cage. And I'm like, why do you want to lay in a cage with poop? It's beyond me. Yeah, I pray for me. Because that there is about to stress me beyond measures. I'm not going to even lie. It is. It's stressing me out. And I don't like that. But other than that... Like I said, by my surgery, I have to have my surgery on November the 8th. And your girl is a little scared. I cannot stop thinking about it. I've been patiently waiting since. Um, I want to say I had to go to the emergency room last week because it was hurting me. And I um, 
they called me next day with an appointment after I went to the emergency room. So, um, I've been waiting. So, it's Wednesday, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to it. Not one bit. I, <laughs> I do want to get it out the way because. I have been had this pain in my stomach for a while, and I didn't know what it... Oh, gosh, I didn't know that sunlight was like it. I had been having this pain for a while, and I didn't know where it was coming from. But now that I know, I'm actually very excited about that part. But like I said, I'm just scared of being put to sleep. And I say the best thing to do... Well, it stressed me out because I've been having to go like this for two weeks up into surgery. And they tell me eat bland food. Who wants to eat? bland food i cannot make myself eat food with no season to it like no salt no nothing i gotta stay away from spicy food so if you are one of those type of people that love to eat spicy foods you better be careful because this could be you because i know growing up i used to love to eat spicy foods round the clock like it was just okay to do and now I've been paying for it for years and I never knew what was the pain in my stomach. And I've been feeling this for a long time. But I know before I left Birmingham, like maybe a year and a half, before I left Birmingham, I had went to one doctor that told me that I did have the gallstones. But they did not say anything about doing surgery because they was like, some people can live with it for the rest of their life. And who wants to live with this for the rest of their life? Like, I don't because it don't feel good. It was like, I always feel full one minute, hungry but one minute. I hate it. It's like I have a constant pain right in the middle of my stomach, and it just don't feel good. And sometimes it hurts me so much that I'm not able to get up and do things with my kids. And I know they probably get tired of me always saying something is wrong with my stomach, something is wrong with my stomach. Now that I can get this procedure done, they not going to have to worry about mommy complaining about their stomach, her stomach no more. I'll be able to do more. I probably got to rest for a few days, but hey, we'll be able to do more things because I feel so much better, which I love, 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 love the fact that I'm going through it because of it. But like I said, stay, um, try to change your diets, like for the people who haven't been through it, just try to change your diet, like try not to eat so much season on your food because I heard that does it. Um, um, fried foods, like... Um, just try to stay away from all that type of stuff, especially fried foods, because they, they're they telling me to stay away from fried foods, and everybody like fried chicken. Who don't like fried chicken? But guess what? It's okay, because they told me I don't need that gallbladder, so guess what they're going to do? They're going to take this gallbladder out, but the only thing I know about people that have got their gallbladder removed, they sh a lot, and that's the only thing that's going to bother me, is... If I eat the wrong stuff, it is going to make me have to go to the bathroom. And I hate that part. But I'd rather be getting this surgery out the way, like I said, now. Because it does give me problems. And see, I don't want to be like my grandmother. or uh, Because my grandmother is going through it too. But now she's about to be 80. They feel like it's um, not a good idea for them to perform surgery on her at her age. Because they was like, it's like signing a death certificate you don't want to do that so she has to live with it for the rest of her life and she always in agony pain every time you look around she's constantly vomiting they having to take her to the hospital because it didn't flared up and then they get her together and then hold she go home maybe my month or so later she may be going through it again and don't nobody want to go through that so right now while my health is in pretty good condition i'd rather go and get out the way now because i hate to have to go through the rest of my life of having to deal with this and i don't want to so y'all stay away from the fatty foods the greasy foods the seasons stay away from the hot food just stay away from it. if you don't have to eat it don't eat it because what i'm going through i don't wish it on nobody because it don't feel good at all like i said this pain in my stomach is just like i walk around every day like right here in my I mean, I literally feel like somebody be punching me. Y'all, I think I'm trying to catch a cold or something. Or maybe because of the weather changing. But these goddamn lips just won't stop drying up on me for nothing. But I am going to take you all on a journey with me as I'm getting prepared for my surgery. Like I said, I have another week. Well, I don't have a week. Today is Friday. 
So, I have my surgery Wednesday, so I don't have that much longer to wait. But I am scared because I'm so far away. I'm 10 hours away from my family and friends, so no one is able to make it out of here on this short notice. So, but I got my Bobo. Bobo, I already told his um, manager he's not coming in because I got to have surgery. So I do have him and I have my kids. But, you know, it's always something about, like, to have my grandmama. You know, somebody like that with me, I always sound like the wind. I guess because they just give you so much peace. You know, anybody who know, know I know. But my mama, I can't have her because y'all as I don't know if I ever talked about it um on a video but i lost my mama when i was nine years old so i don't have my mama so my grandmama is my mama so i um but not having her has been one of the hardest things to go through in life because every girl needs their mother but i'm gonna stop chanting but like i said i'm gonna take you all on this journey with me <clears throat> don't we finna end this video because I gotta let these dogs back in the house and it is a little nip out here so for this video in make sure y'all like comment and subscribe make sure you turn on your post notification so you won't miss another video make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to your girl channel share this with your family your friends your aunties uncles mamas daddies grandmamas I don't care who you share to share my video to everybody and tell them to subscribe to your girl channel because we going up and that's on period peace